236 games National Hockey League experience. You're just a couple of weeks shy of your, your next 27th birthday. How important is that maturation as uh, you get ready for the, the camp of your life here and, and battling for one of those few spots? Well, I certainly think it helps. Um, I think as much as you can play in the league, you kind of go through certain experiences, get to know certain guys. Um, it's just little tendencies that you can pick up on that certainly helps when you're out there. Culturally on the ice and off, what was it like to play in a place like Magnitogorsk last year as your, your hockey career progressed? Uh, it was different, um, but at the same time it was a good experience. Uh, we didn't do as well as we wanted to last year, but um, you know I have nothing but really good things to say about that whole organization and everything. Um, but at the same time, I'm really looking forward to this opportunity. Yeah, you had a chance to play with a former Leaf and Nick Kuhleman. Yeah. How's he doing? Cooley was awesome. Uh, he was actually a big help to me just kind of dealing with some of the language barrier and stuff like that, so uh, he was able to help me out. You grew up in a competitive household. Four brothers all played in university hockey. I guess the youngest is at Harvard, and the rest of you went to the University of Denver. What was it like in the Shore household in the greater Denver area as you guys grew up? It was awesome growing up with three, uh, three other brothers, and three of us honestly being, being really close. And I actually had the chance to play with two of my brothers at school, so it's, you know, it's a cool opportunity that not very many people kind of get to experience. So. Um, I think we'd all say we're better off for it. And as well, uh, you won a Calder, I guess, in Manchester, and, and if I recall right, 2010, that World Junior Championship team in Saskatoon. Did you get to play in that? No, I didn't. No. Well, you won the Calder, didn't you? Yes. And, yeah. And, and now moving here and, and looking around for that center spot, do you look at a depth chart at all, or do you just focus on what you're able to do and just wait for that first chance to get into a game and go from there? Yeah, I, I mean, you, it's kind of the old saying, you control what you can. Um, so I don't think, you know, staring at depth charts or anything like that is going to do you any good. Uh, just come out every day, try to get better, and like you said, you know, work for your opportunity. And you played in the Quebec Pee Wee Hockey Tournament. We just talked to Kenny D'Agostino. Oh, Kenny D'Agostino. <laughs> how, did, how did you make out back then when that team uh, made that big trip? Uh, I think we lost, like, our first two games, and I think that's it. <laughs> for the, we stayed for, like, ten days, so it was fun. We went, like, sledding and stuff like that. But, yeah, it was a quick, quick hockey trip.